and like Parkins. <laughs> Hey guys, me host Superzoro, thank you very much for tuning in the Quagga! <laughs> I've got Wedge Antilles Battle Simulation Helmet from the Black Series. This was sent over to us by Zavi, so thank you very much Zavi for hooking us up with this awesome Star Wars helmet. I am stupidly excited. I've never had like a, a fighter helmet before, I've only ever had like the Boba Fett helmets. And I've had, I've had Darth Vader over the years and Captain Cardinal. But this is the first like pilot's helmet that I've got, so I'm really excited. And you can choose your battle, apparently. So you can either be at the Battle of Yavin or the Battle of Hoth with realistic sounds and, oh, just looks absolutely awesome. It's got LEDs in the visor and things. It just looks absolutely awesome. Uh, it's going to take some batteries, so we can, I think we're going to need three, three AAAs. Hopefully we've got those in the house. And it has surround sound experience in this thing. Amazing. So let's go ahead and bust it out of the packaging so we can take a close look. <clears throat> there is a link in the description, guys, which will take you to Zavi's website. That is an affiliate link, just to let, to let you know if you buy anything from there. I do get some, ki some, some kickback for the channel. It does support me. And once again, thank you to the people at Zavi for the hookup with this. They did send this for me completely free of charge for me to be able to review. And if you use my discount code, which is SuperSorrel10, you can save 10% on any toy orders, Lego, things like that. Um, or however, if you want to get some clothing, if you get any clothes from the website, if you use Super Sorrel 20, you can save yourself 20%. All that good stuff out the way, let's get the helmet out. I'm just gonna go ahead and put and put put this together really quick. I'll be one moment. Just let you know to put the bat the the batteries in it. There's this little bit at the back here where you just have to pop a little bit of plastic off, and then you can unscrew this and insert the batteries. All right, so I've taken it out of the packaging. I've added the batteries and I've added in all the earpieces. You've got to add the earpieces in, and you've got to add the actual uh, headpiece in that just holds it on your head, and then you add the, these two little poppers on the inside to add the chin, the chin strap. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to need the chin strap, but we'll see. I'm not sure if these are going to fit on my head. <laughs> and there's a little button at the side to, to, act, to activate all the sound effects. Echo Station 3TA, we have spotted Imperial Walker. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can even hear that. But basically it gives like it gives off flight sounds and things. So let me go ahead and Wow. That is <laughs> snug. I don't like Parkins. <laughs> oh, I don't like Parkins. That's cool though. I tell you what though, ow, I do not need because of the size of my head. Let's be honest. I do not need any of these little pieces. So they just pull out, they're only on Velcro. Oh, so much better. Oh, it talks. 
Hello? He said, copy, Rogue Leader. Oh, when I talk, he says, copy. I love it. Over. <laughs> I'm not sure you guys, so you guys can even, you can't even hear what I'm hearing right now, can you? There's like battle sounds and like sounds of other ships flying across and things. Very cool. My only wish, because it's got speakers in it, and because it's got like a microphone, they could have made this functional. And how cool would it have been that you could pl like use a, uh, an input jack and make this like a thing you could use while playing your video games, you know what I mean? Like use this as an actual helmet to actually play video games. Um, you know, with the microphone attached and stuff, that'd be so cool. Imagine if you were playing like that Rogue Squadron game, and you could use that, you could use this helmet with the Rogue Squadron game, and sit with an with, with an actual Star Wars helmet on. So cool. Now it did. I'm sure it says <laughs> it keeps talking in my ear. Um, I'm pretty sure it said that there was meant to be like LEDs flashing or something. I'm not sure about that now. I can't really see any. I can't see anything on like a. There's nothing on this screen or anything. Oh, there is actually. No, there isn't. No, I can't see anything on the visor or anything. So I'm not sure what that was meant to be. Uh, but yeah, you can adjust the chin strap. Copy Rogue Leader. He just keeps saying it over and over again. Copy Rogue Leader. And if we do, we can press. There's a button somewhere on the side here. Where is it? Oh, it's this side. I push. If I, yeah, if I push that, they get the different sound effects. So you can hear the pachum pachum of like the firing of the ships. Yeah, like it says steady rogue two, and there's different effects. And if I take the helmet off. There's a little button at the back, and I can change it, because right now I'm on Hoth, I believe. Uh, let me just open this up. Right now I'm on... Something flashed then inside. I'm sure that we're in LED flash then. So I can change that over, and I'm now on uh, the Battle of Yavin. So if I change and put the helmet back on... And push the button. Got the droid noises again. There we go. Yes, it's different sound effects this time. It's like a different flight noise. All wings are poured in. Ah, <gasps> oh, you hear them all. Red five. Red five standing by. Oh, that's so cool. Yavin is definitely the better of the sound effects. There's full voices, you can hear Luke. Oh yeah, that's more, I like that. You can hear Luke's voice and everything on this one. Blasted, where are you? Yeah. That is so cool. See, I need to work, I need to work it out. I don't think I need the top part in. But I think I may need these back in because it is a little bit uncomfortable without them. Uh, so I'm going to have to work that out for me. It wears the most comfortable spots. But guys, this is absolutely awesome, this helmet. Uh, can't thank Xavi enough. So thank you very much, Xavi, for, hook up with it, for the hook up with this. It's so cool. Uh, but I don't think I'm ever going to use the chin strap. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, so good. Oh, so when, it, when you get the firing effects? Okay, when they're firing, that's when you get the LEDs. That's better. So when you get the actual firing effects, you get the two little uh, LEDs up here that shoot downwards to make it go red and green. So it's like like you're firing. Like, see the... Pshum, pshum, pshum. And you can see enemy... Like, the red is meant to be the enemy fire, isn't it? So that's kind of cool. I'll see if I can make it do it again so you guys can see it on here. See, so I don't think you guys can see that. <laughs> anyway, I'm expecting a thousand comments on TikTok this weekend telling me I look like Parkins, so. <laughs> but guys, what are your thoughts on this helmet? Let us know in the comments down below. I wish you could hear what I'm hearing. Uh, it's, it's hard to kind, of do, to kind of show it off, but 
I really like this helmet, so thank you very much. And if you do around here, like I say, please hit that subscribe button. It really supports us. It really helps out. I'm going to go pilot an X-Wing and sit here and pretend I'm in the Battle of Yavin. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the Force be with you.